money than Tank did. You hear that? Say that one more time. They even offered Ryan more money than Tank did. Cruz. Yeah, more money. You offered Cruz offer more money. Cruz. You gave Cruz the world. You gave Cruz. Hey, you can try to do. You can try to do everything you can do. And at a certain time, they don't want to fight. You can't force nobody to fight. At the end of the day. Ryan Garcia on pay-per-view in movie theaters. In this video, I'm going to tell you the latest breaking news with Ryan Garcia. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I'm going to jump right into it. So DAZN posted this, which was pretty interesting. It says, catch the Ryan Garcia versus Togo's fight April 9th live in movie theaters. And they put popcorn. Click on the link for booking and other ticket information. And it says Ryan Garcia, Emmanuel Tago, right? So we'll click on it and better not have no cookies. In. Look, so Fathom Events, and it says Ryan Garcia versus Emmanuel Togo's Saturday. And it's just a synopsis or summary of the fight. And it says runtime, <laughs> Ryan movie is going to be, <laughs> his fight is going to be five hours long. So I don't even know who's on the undercard, to be honest. So that's interesting. But they're deciding to put this in theaters, which is interesting because usually that's reserved for like huge big fights. But Ryan Garcia has the Instagram following. So I, I guess they feel that this will connect with that audience, you know? So they're trying to make more income. It says live in theaters. You guys see it. Now, the other aspect of my opening, Ryan being on pay-per-view, look what De La Hoya says. So it's pretty coincidental that all this stuff is happening, right? It says this post was at 12 p.m. and we fast forward 1.45 p.m., you know, so an hour and 45 minutes later on the same day, this is what De La Hoya said. Golden Boy has promoted Floyd Mayweather. Easy work. I ain't got to worry about it. I'm rich, mother. Manny Pacquiao. Um, I, I believe uh, my fight with um two, 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 two. Cane I was born ready. Canelo Alvarez, Miguel Cotto. And it says April 9th, watch the comeback and the beginning of my next pay-per-view star. You guys, let me highlight it for you. It says watch the comeback fight and the beginning of my next pay-per-view star, Ryan Garcia. So De La Hoya, to me, this this whole tweet is clout chasing because he's tagging Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, Canelo and Miguel Cotto. And he's like kind of making it look like he built their careers. But that's not that's not true. He did work with these guys. But, you know, I mean, he worked with Cotto at what point when Cotto's fighting Saddam Ali, you know, at the back of uh, Miguel Cotto. He from. Puerto Rico and Yankees. You know, Cotto always be whispering when he when he be talking. So it's like, I don't know. It, it just it seems like cloud chasing to me. It sounds misleading. But he says the beginning of my next pay-per-view star, Ryan Garcia. So that's showing and telling you that they feel Ryan Garcia has what it takes to be in the next Floyd Mayweather, Canelo pay-per-view star conversation, right? This is Ryan Garcia. Now, I also made a video, Ryan Garcia's Tagos fight, right? They upped the the weight limit. He's a lightweight, but they're fighting at, lightweight supposed to be in boxing 135 pounds, but they've decided to make this fight at 139 pounds. So Ryan Garcia, you see he's pretty tall, and he, as you get older, it probably becomes harder and harder to make those weights. So that's, you know, in itself what it is. But I think that's kind of a bad look for the whole Ryan Garcia situation, just because to me, he's the A side. So if they switch the weight to a higher weight, to me, in my in my mind, is because of Ryan Garcia, right? That only makes the sense of the world, because if it was Emmanuel Togo who was struggling to make weight, you wouldn't make no cons if you're the A side, you're not gonna make any concessions for the next guy. You're just gonna be like, oh well, you were contracted to make 135. So to me, I think Ryan Garcia is having difficulty making weight and or he doesn't want to tax or tap 
his body out because he is 5'10, 5'10 half or whatever. And it's not really for a major title or anything like that. So he's he's figured like, why why do all the extra sacrifice? And this is a comeback fight. So he's going to try to blaze Emmanuel Tago. We'll see how it all plays out. But I want to know what you guys think of Oscar De La Hoya's tweet saying this is the beginning and mentioning the likes of Floyd Mayweather, the likes of Manny Pacquiao and Canelo and Cotto and kind of putting Ryan Garcia in that same breath as past people that Golden Boy has worked with in order to, you know, promote him. Does Ryan have what it takes to be the next pay-per-view guy? That's what I need you guys to answer in the comment section. Now, before I go any further, I looked at my YouTube analytics for the past 30 days, and it showed me that 50% of you that consume my content are subscribed. The other 50% that watched and consumed my content last month did not subscribe. They either watched it and they didn't hit the subscribe button. It's important. Takes a few seconds. It's free. You can always unsub if you don't like the content. Maybe you forgot. Maybe it slipped your mind. You watched the video and you forgot. Sometimes you got to check YouTube even unsubscribes people. So you may think you're subscribed to my channel, but you might not be. So please subscribe if you're digging the content. And, you know, as far as Ryan Garcia, his his upcoming fight, I'm, I'm going to watch it just because I'm always trying to stay in tune with what's going on in boxing. I don't by any stretch think it's a, a big fight, but Ryan Garcia's last fight was tough with Luke Campbell and this Emmanuel Tago. He has one loss, I believe it is. So we'll see how it plays out. Let me know if you're going to go to the movie theater to watch this. I don't know if it's going to be on his own pay-per-view or if they're just saying in general if they're talking about it, but the only real fight that I think would be pay-per-view for sure, for sure would be Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia, but they've been trying to make that fight. Ryan Garcia said he would take it. And then later he said he has a bigger fight with Pacquiao and, you know, several failed fights and pullouts later, we still haven't seen Ryan Garcia. So when it comes to Ryan Garcia, we got to take it one step at a time. I got to see him back in the ring De La Hoya is premature with this because we don't, you know, we don't even know how Ryan will look versus Togo's. So let me see that. Let's get past one thing. Let me know what you guys think. Are you paying pay-per-view for Ryan Garcia? Are you going to the theater? Subscribe to the channel and I'm out. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.